Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits and I'm using both the main kit and the mixed media kit for this layout today. And I really wanted to feature the Distress crayons and use some of the wonderful stencils that we got in the kit as well. I have pre-gessoed my white cardstock because I wanted to be able to move some of the colour around the page with my fingertips and I felt that it was just a little bit easier to do that because I was going to add some water. So what I've done here is just with the distress crayon and uh, I've just made a, a drawn around the circle and then using my fingers which is your best tool when you're dealing with mixed media and smushing that color around and I'm just utilizing the the stencil putting those circles in no particular order it is absolutely random I did not think about this at all at this stage I was still toying with the ideas in my mind about what I wanted this layout to look like so I just went to town and just got a little bit messy and added those circles to the page. Before I turn the camera on, I, um, I've also um, done some a little bit of fussy cutting in that paper that was um, with the, I guess, the wedges. There was four wedges on the pages, four sort of sections on the page, and I've cut out the blue and the yellow ones. And I've also trimmed through the actual rays. Um, my, my idea is, is they, they're going to form the background of my paper once I've got everything dried here. And it took me a, it took me a while to sort of sort through that. I had some, do you ever work on something and you have something in your mind, but when you start to work on it, it just doesn't go and you can't get it to work. So I did work a little bit off camera for this particular layout just because I couldn't get it right. Now, just to finish off talking about the mixed media, I also did add a little bit of water. Once I'd got the color down, I did also add in some of some water onto my finger and I have smushed that around to give it more of a watercolor feel. And I, it also gave the edges a little bit more of um, a softer, softer edge. Um, and I extended it out past the circle in some cases, but the darker circle where you, where the first part of the distress crayon hit the, hit the paper sort of stands out as well. And I also grabbed a black, uh, mark, black, um, fin, fine tip marker and drew some really, really rough circles around that as well, just to give the circles just a little bit more dimension across the page. So as I mentioned, I did do a little bit of work off camera and you'll see there that um, I have com I ended up cutting up the pieces, the strips and turning them into um, more of a blue, yellow, blue, yellow uh, around the page there to give a little bit of a fanned feel to the page. And I've also popped some of the pieces up on foam. So mainly the blue pieces, the blue strips have been placed up on foam just to give that added dimension and to lift it off the page. I've also put some foam underneath the photo as well. And I didn't want to use any flowers on this particular layout. I know, what a shocker. It's very rare I don't put flowers on a page. Um, but I just wanted to focus my page today on that background and getting the, what I wanted to do with the background. And it's just a basic photo. I shouldn't say that, should I? It's my nephews. They're never basic. Um, of a photo shoot, an impromptu photo shoot that we did years ago at the train station with that wonderful brick wall in the background. And this is just two shots I got of them. So it's nothing special spectacular it's just two brothers sitting together which is pretty rare um, and we had a lovely old time waiting for the train um, for a few minutes and so I could take a few shots um, sitting there and so I've used that title from the thickers pack um, with snapshots there and I've just added one of the pink fresh dots as well um, and then I felt and I've just used some of the ephemera pieces from the Jan Hadfield ephemera pack. Just some of those wood grainy type um, features. And there's one that's a little bit of a sun. So it sort of drove it back to the, um, the sprays, I guess, or the wedges that I've put there. Now I have put a butterfly on the page. Now 
generally speaking, if there's no flowers, there's always a butterfly. And I couldn't resist that large butterfly that was in the actual uh, ephemera pack either. And once I was going through this layout, I realized that it wasn't grounded enough. So I wanted to put a background on the background. <laughs> so put a frame around the background. So I do cut off some of the sides of the edges and I've gutted that piece that piece of paper, that black and white, it's it's quite a, um, not one I was ever going to use as a full background because it's quite busy, um, even though it's quite thin, but it's quite loud in your face. So I was never going to use that as a complete background. So I thought that would be perfect just to give the page just a little bit of grounding um, and frame that up. Um, I do distress the edges quite a bit as well once I've glued it down. So for this one, I did glue it down to the, the um, I found recently, I used to use um, tape, double-sided tape to do this, but I have found that gluing this down, particularly when I've used mixed media, because the pages get quite heavy, it does work better if I do use some uh, wet glue to actually stick that down. And now I did have this layout sitting on my desk for a few days as well because it just didn't seem quite right. I mean, I, go, I know I say that a lot, but I do often go back to my layouts a few days later and either take things off or add things on. And for this one, I didn't film it, but I have added a, an enormous amount of splatters to the page. And I think it really finishes off the page well. So you will see all that in the close-ups coming up in a moment. I will leave the store link uh, in the description box below and I have a heap of close-ups for you, particularly showing you all those wonderful splatters. I've used the Shimmer Gold that we got in a kit a few months ago and I've also used Dina Wakely's White Gloss as well and I've used some Distress Oxides that I had in my stash as well just to give it a little bit of colour. So I've used some blue and some yellow and some gold tones within that as well. So as always, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I've inspired you or at least given you something to, to look at and enjoy for a few minutes of your time today. Again, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye for now.